Hi, I'm Scott Cameron. I'm a pediatric allergist and clinical immunologist. Every day, I see patients in my office who are at risk for a life-threatening allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. The life-saving treatment for this condition is the rapid use of epinephrine in the form of an auto-injector. This is injected in the side of the leg and rapidly stops an anaphylactic reaction. It is a very, very safe medication to use. However, despite this, many of my patients that have had anaphylaxis have hesitated to use this medication because they've been concerned about its side effects, its safety, or the pain with giving the injection. We're here today to reassure you about how safe this medication is to use when patients have anaphylaxis. I would like to show you today a patient in my office who required epinephrine. Zaya had a food challenge in the office to tree nuts, which we thought she had outgrown her allergy to. During a food challenge, most patients pass the challenge, showing us that they have outgrown the allergy. Some will develop hives during the challenge, and we stop, knowing that the patient is still allergic to this food. Even fewer, however, will develop anaphylaxis during a food challenge. For Zaya, her symptoms of anaphylaxis were sudden onset of facial hives, runny nose, and coughing. Within two minutes of her developing a runny nose and cough, we treated her with epinephrine. Epinephrine is the only medication that can be used to stop a life-threatening allergic reaction. This medication is very safe when given as an injection in the side of the leg. I want you all to see how safe and effective this medication is so that you will use it quickly when you or your child need it. Food challenge today to almonds and she's started to get hives and she's been snarfling and sneezing so she's having an anaphylactic reaction. So we're gonna give her an EpiPen and the way you're gonna do this Aya is that you're gonna pull this off. You're gonna keep your thumb out of the way. We're gonna hold your leg and you're gonna push and hold in place till you count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you pull it away. Sound good? So she's currently breathing okay. There's no wheezing that's going on. We're gonna do it right through here, sweetie. It goes through your clothes, no problem. So, mom and you are gonna do this together. We'll do it together. I'll move it okay. hold it, you're gonna hold it. Okay, now once the blue cap's off, um, the orange part is active. Okay. So you're gonna push it really hard here against the side leg, and I, I'm just gonna Ready? hold your leg. You push. Hold, you wanna hold my hand? Ready? One, two, two three. three, push hard. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. You did so <laughs> good. You're oh, so brave. Wow. Oh, you did that was so, so well. well done. Wow, Zaya. That was so good. <laughs> you can cry now if you want to. It's okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Ow. Good work. So that medicine, we're just gonna get you flat for a little bit. We'll leave you here for a few minutes. It was okay. So probably not something you want to do every day, but it wasn't the end of the world, was it? No. You did you very were super good with your brave. counting. Yeah, you're so strong. Uh, it wasn't terrible, was it? Was it like, did it make you cry? Yeah. Did it make you scream? No. Or did you just go, oh, that kind of hurt a bit? Yeah. Yeah, nice work. Good work, dear. Was it hard to use, the epinephrine? No. No? Okay. What was easy about it? Um, that it didn't really hurt. If you were by yourself and you started having an allergic reaction, like you did when you were with us, do you think you could use that pen? Yeah. Um, tell me what you were thinking when we told you that it was time to use the epinephrine. Okay, like yourself? I felt a little bit panicky sure. and I thought, okay. okay, is this going to get really serious? Um, but I also realized that um, like when would be a good time to, to give it was earlier than what I previously had thought. Um, do you think that if the same situation came up, you could give Zaya her medication? Definitely. Yeah. I feel a lot more confident about it now. What would you say to parents who have a child who's got a food allergy? And... I would say that it's simpler than you think. Um, don't waste time. As, as soon as you see the two, two symptoms, just go ahead and, and give it because um, it made it stop right away. I've learned that there's no need to panic. That was the biggest lesson that I took from this. It gave me a lot of confidence um, going through this in the office and having that experience and watching and helping Zaya take her EpiPen um, made me realize that, that it's okay, we have good medicine and um, it's really quick acting 
And so it just made me feel a lot safer. Did you notice anything different in your body after you got the medicine? Mm, I felt healthier. Okay. Did your hives go away? Yep. And did you stop sneezing? Yep. And did you stop coughing? Yep. Very cool. Thanks, Zaya. What kind of symptoms could you see in Zaya in the future that would tell you she's having a reaction that needs epinephrine? Uh, well, definitely hives on the face, um, sneezing, coughing, clearing the throat, um, itchy or watery eyes, um, runny nose, any two of those symptoms that I would give her the EpiPen right away. Um, also, of course, if she was vomiting, having difficulty breathing, her tongue swelling, or if she was extremely lethargic, I wouldn't wait for a second symptom, I would just give it right away. That's great and totally correct, thanks. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you to Zaya and her family for allowing her experience to be used as an educational opportunity for families, patients, and medical professionals about how safe and easy epinephrine is to use. Thanks.